Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and let's see what happened in Game Week 13 and what's going to happen in Game Week 14. Midnight Mule Mini League. Top scorer in Game Week 13 was Immersion Aslan Shah with Slow Slow Ice with 82 points. That was Gordon 13, Dallow 12, Captain Salad 10, LaSalle 7, Harlan 7, Pedro Poro 5, Watkins 5 and the bench boost was played. Ferguson 5, Bulldog 5. So a very good score and as you may know if you've watched this channel before I'm all in favour of getting the bench boost out of the way because it's a bit of an annoying chip. On top of our league is Alexander Lawrenson with Owls All Stars on 869 points and if you look down in 8th place that scores 834 points which is as good as the best content creator so everyone here is at least as good as the best content creator. Let's see what Alexander Lawrenson had. 13 points with Gordon, 10 with Salah, 7 with Haaland, 7 with Lascelles, 8 with Saka, 6 with Saliba, 5 with Bulldog, 5 with Watkins. And then on the bench, no points to speak of, so that was a bench well played. As for me, I'm down in 173rd and I managed 39 points. That was Saka for 8, Saliba for 6, Pedro Porro 5, Salah 5, Watkins 5, Captain Sun 4. And last on my bench, when the deadline came, was Yao Pedro, who managed to get 13 points. And shortly before the deadline, I actually had him first on my bench, so he would have come on. But then right near the end, I swapped him for white, so that cost me 12 points. So even though I got a red arrow, I'm not too upset about it. And I was like, ah, oh, OK, because my squad was good enough, I just chose the wrong order. So... Two red arrows in a row where I had lots of nice points on the bench so I could have done better. And I know the whole game's full of would have, could have, should have. But I actually didn't feel too bad about it even though it was a sizable red arrow. So 39 points, game week ranked just outside the 8 million. Second red arrow in a row. Now 13 points, the wrong side of 1 million. And I need to score 8 points a week more than the top person to win the whole thing. It could happen, you never know. <laughs> I think we do know. And yeah, 973 subscribers to this channel. Thank you very much to everyone who watches this and then subscribes and comments, etc. It is appreciated. So the FPL Game Week website, you can go and look at the content creators and top content creator at the moment is FPL Fran on 834 points. And also in the top five is Mark Southerns there, FPL Black Box, he's on 818. I'm all the way down in 53rd, if I was on here, with 756 points which at least that's better than As, who is a good giggle if you like to watch him. Now, I've already made my transfer, which was I sold Bowen. It's either Saturday or Sunday I did this. And I brought in Umbremo because I could see the way the prices were going to go. If I left it to the end of the week, I'd be 0.2 or maybe even 0.3 million worse off. And I thought, well, I have to get Umbremo in anyway. I kind of want to keep Sun and Saka. So... Took Bowen off and as it happened in tonight's European game I think Bowen wasn't in the squad so there's still a chance he's not going to play at the weekend in which case he's not worth keeping anyway. So my team as it lines up at the moment and I'm not expecting to make any more changes is I've got Salah as captain. Liverpool, he wears the old mule hat. Liverpool are at home to Fulham and he's got his mates Simicass and Darwin playing hopefully. Vice captain is Saka and I'm playing Saliba. They're at home to Wolves. Trippier's at home to Man United, Embremo's at home to Luton, and Ariello's at home to Crystal Palace. And then away, I've got Sun away to Man City and Watkins away to Bournemouth. And then I've, I've been really torn about the 11th player that I'm going to play, which then conversely means who's going to be on my bench. But I've decided to go with Ward Prowse at home to Palace. He's the penalty taker, he's the set piece taker. Palace's defence is quite good, so I kind of think if West Ham score, it could come from a set piece, which means Ward Prowse. And I think I'm going to stick with this, because what I have learned over the years is making last minute decisions is the wrong thing to do, and I should stick with what I've been deciding all week. So that means my bench order is going to be Johnson in goal, and then Jao Pedro away to Chelsea, but he is the penalty taker. He scored tonight in Europe. I think he's going to get decent minutes because there's enough injuries in Brighton. So I'm absolutely fine to play him. I've got White second on the bench. 
Now I'm aware there's quite a few managers are going to be playing two Arsenal players at the back. So if Arsenal keep a clean sheet, they're obviously going to be outscoring me on a defensive point of view. But there are still a few managers with no Arsenal players at the back. So I kind of think if Arsenal keep a clean sheet or don't, it's not going to make a massive difference to my score. And then last on the bench is Pedro Porro. He's away to Man City. He probably won't get a clean sheet, but he may get an attacking return. But in any case, he's third on my bench. Now, I know this is, well, I think this is quite a strong bench. But that's what happens when you're a little bit silly like me and you don't have Haaland. You can afford to have decent priced players. And the background was simply, I like coffee. So there's some coffee beans playing a bit of football. And don't forget, there's an FPL meets in Nottingham this weekend. And that's it. That's what happened in game week 13 and my plans for game week 14. I've got a lot of players playing at home, so I'm hoping for quite a decent score. But I also think a lot of teams are going to get good scores this week. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a good game week 14 and maybe I'll see you Saturday. Bye.